Welcome. Welcome, guys. This is the deal. Day one, Lake Chickamauga, Group B, that is, is today. So, we're sitting here in the garage getting ready to make the hike up to Dayton, um, which, as always, is nice to be able to sleep in your own bed competing on a body of water that I just truly really enjoy fishing. Um, hey, it's a two pound minimum this week. We have some work to do, and they are absolutely biting. Russ Lane for Group A, he's leading Group A, and he has uh, 70, I think 70 pounds, so we need to do something like that. Um, again, the, the guy who wins the round will ultimately advance to the championship round. So that's really the plan and strategy behind this whole thing is, number one, make the cut. And then number two, you always try, you try to win to technically, there's a lot of strategy into it because I feel like in, even in Austin, um, it laid Travis. I wouldn't have won the tournament if I didn't fish the knockout round. So be, it was just a different deal. So you allowed you have more time to really dial in the fishery. So then, so I think there's sometimes it's good to win your round and qualify in, and there's sometimes it's bad. Um, this week, the fishing is fairly decent. I think the biggest thing here is the fact that these fish are just pulling offshore. And what I, what I mean by that is for some of those who have not got a chance to experience offshore fishing in schools of fish, the fact that the fish will spawn in the springtime, and a lot of the fish here in, in Chickamauga actually spawn middle of, really quite a few of them spawn this year, late April, middle of May, um, obviously some spawn in April, um, some probably are still spawning, so that's what's crazy about it, it's really drawn out spawn, and so these bigger fish are just finally, now they heal up, they hang around the grass for a little bit, and they start to slide offshore, and they start to get grouped up in these schools. And a school is typically anywhere from like eight fish to 300 fish. Um, but because of the way this fishery has gotten so much pressure, it's gotten a lot of pressure over the handful of years, it's got a lot of um, really big fish in it, it's gotten even tougher, tougher, and tougher to catch them because it really, you hear me talk a little bit about sneaky places, and what I mean by sneaky places is like a place that not everybody else has. Very hard to find a sneaky place this day and age on Chickamauga. What happens is, you know, you fish at your place, or um, someone finds a place, and it ends up being coming community the more time that people get to spend on this body of water, because more guys find it, more guys start fishing it, other people start seeing people fish it, they graph it, boom, there's 100 fish there, and it just basically becomes communal. So that is sort of the rundown of the offshore deal. I, I, I'm gonna grab a whole bunch of rods and, and do my thing out there offshore. You know, I, I think there's probably a couple different things you could do. Crankbaits, spinnerbaits, um, hair jigs, jigs. There's gonna be a lot of different things we're gonna go into. But before we dive into all that, I just wanted to give you guys sort of an overview. Now the guys will still catch these fish shallow. So the guys will still catch these fish shallow. Docks, grass, all of those things, but uh, We'll probably be spending most of our time off the bank and trying to catch either isolated fish or run schools of fish. So, just letting y'all know what's going down. We got to slide in here, grab a coffee, and then head up to Dayton. What's up, Bubba? Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so you guys have been wanting to know sort of where Marshall's been. He's actually been, since that last tournament, he's been just hanging out in my boat. Literally, I just told him to live here because we had, we had a tough one last one. So, But because of that, I think, uh, man, man, we talked about this. I got to find out and see if, hold up one second. Hey, yo, Mark. Yo. I got somebody for you. Oh, you got Teddy for me? Look at little Marshall rolling out. Hey, so I think this is the only Mark. fair... You know, DC's won one, I've won one, and uh, it's, it's time, huh? It's time. So it's I think time we graduate. You bring, we go. you bring a little bit of luck in there. Here we go, baby. Hey, all right now. Hey, little Marshall. All right now. Hey, 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 don't no. you be starting hey, no. You don't start nothing <laughs> bad, man. Listen, we need co positive, Some positive vibes, man, baby. Positive stuff, man. Yes, sir. Hey, you got to get him out there and catch him up today. Yes, sir, man. You too. Absolutely, Good luck, bro. dog. All right, guys. All right, so we had to drop, we had to drop little Marshall off tomorrow because, because uh. Mark, Mark has not had him really the whole year, so we gotta keep that vibe going. Hopefully Mark smashes, and we continue to do our deal too. Yeah, when you got down the low, it's not been bad. It was not bad the other day. 
Bye, Libby. Little one, man. What up? Bye, Daddy Sharky. There we go. Thank you, everyone. All right. Love you. Love you too, darling. All right, buddy, I'm gonna catch you one. Try to. One or two. It's the plan. I'm gonna have to catch a handful of them, suckers. All right, y'all. I'm gonna leave you right here. We are. About to head out. Looking forward to this one. Not a little unsure of how the day is going to play out. Saturday, Saturday on the Tennessee River can be tough. Not these guys right here. Necessarily, a lot of locals will be out there. It's a public body of water, and we got to go fishing. So, wish me luck. We'll see you guys out there on the water. Stop on those. You gotta stop on those. You got it. You gotta stop, man. It is what it is. Little. That's why I don't like picking up a spinner rod. Maybe. Two pounds, two ounces. Two, two. It broke up a little bit. There you go, we got us one. Got us one, y'all, two, two. Golly. When I caught that one, there was like 10 of them that came up with him. And they all just slid out and they went, it's just so hard when they're not pulling current. You don't, if you don't hit a school like the first thing in the morning and be on the first deal, you can catch two or three easy like if you're the first person there. But when, you know, you're the second or third guy there, it takes a little bit longer. A little. Big one. Right, I had two pounder. Two pounds, zero ounces. Yeah. Two, zero. Unreal. And I thought I had him. Catch these suckers cranking. Little one. No, come off. big one but DT 16 bass anyway skinny 16 and an inch or two pounds each two pounds zero ounce. all right let's pick back up and get after him chunky let's check him we have not caught no big ones that's for sure two pounds one ounce DT-16, Green Gizzard, dude, they freaking normally doink him when you get him fired. One pound, 12 ounces. 112. There he is. Dang little one.
That's a better one. Gosh, come on. Dude, I freaking jacked that one up bad. There's a pig in right there. Better one anyway. That's weird. Two pounds, five ounces. Yes, sir. Two pounder. Playing right there. Pound six ounces. Yes, sir. Got us one off community hole. I said, heck with it. We'll just go fish community stuff. Forget that. Ain't no problem. Ain't no thing. We'll just go catch us a couple community bass. Freaking stole my worm. Well, maybe I'll make him bite. Skinny. Let's see here. Two pounds, four ounces. Yes, sir. Okay. Finesse him, man. So what I'm doing is I'm throwing a little worm right there and just trying to finesse these fish into biting. That has been the, the name of the game, really. He's been just trying to get these fish to bite and it's not been easy. I see what they're doing now. They're just following it. So I'm using this little crossover ring. No, I don't think he's gonna make it. One we'll, we'll, we'll way. 113, fat one, but not a scoreable. Two pounds, zero ounces. Mm-hmm. All right. Starting to catch a couple. Let's retire real quick here just to make sure we're ready to roll. You got that one on a little slim shake. Two pounds, two ounces. Scales. There you go, buddy. Two, two. Now I'm picking them off one by one. It's right there. I'm throwing a little. Let's see here. Let's catch another one. There he is. There we go. Two pounds even. Yes, sir. Going back and forth. There's one. Big and two. Big and dude. Big and big and big and big and big and. Come on. We need you. Boom, baby, yeah! There we go. That's a plug fish right there for you. Plug walk. DT20 in the freaking face on that one. Six pounds, two ounces. Yes, sir. Done.
Three pounds, 15 ounce. Yes, sir. What a cluster last bit. I had one freaking train wreck right there and break my line. Unreal. Turn left. All right. Uh, not really that bad. Definitely community places are community places for a reason. The bash just get there in big groups to get there. So. There's times that I wish 10 years ago it was like easy. Like you, if you found them, like you had them to yourself a lot of times. Awesome. Thanks, son. Yeah. Thank you. No problem, man. What was your name? Cooper. Cooper, Cooper very nice to meet you, man. All right, everybody. So I don't know if I give you guys an update after the day yesterday, but this is the deal. So we caught a couple late. And I'm getting the boat right now because I have to get a couple rods together. And this was the deal. Like, I caught a couple really late. Um, caught them on that DT20, which is obviously a bait that I won. I big, played a big part last year in winning the tournament. <clears throat> and the, the key is this whole thing is, like, these fish are biting the last hour. And it's not even about current. Like, so you hear about this current thing sometimes. Like, you hear about current on the Tennessee River. And that definitely does help. But I feel like it's just time of day. When the sun gets up, no matter where you go, the afternoon bite offshore seems to be the best. They set up tighter, they get in bigger schools. Every fish that has been, been eating up shallow or up, you know, swimming around all night, they finally get to that position and they feed. So that's sort of what the whole deal is. And that's why it's so good in that last little bit. Now, we got some work to do. Either we're gonna have to decide what's gonna go down. You know, I'm sitting here, I've been analyzing some things. I'm back 30 some pounds, which I would like to be a little bit closer to try to get that automatic berth. Um, but we we definitely need to step our game up a little bit and at least find some stuff. So the, the dilemma is this, where I'm at. I either go practice and prep for the knockout round, because I pretty much have made it. Or, strategy goes, I try to run some stuff and see if we can't put a little pressure on Edwin. Now, Edwin's got 77 pounds. So there's always this strategy in the whole deal because that's what I'm trying to figure out, basically. I'm trying to figure out how I want to play this whole deal. So we're going to see. I got a couple more rods I need to rig. Um, but I feel good. It feels good to already have pretty much made the cut. I might need to catch a couple more bass just in case they really crack them. Because the reason why the weights were a little bit lower for our group, I think it was like 14 pounds. It was a Saturday. Saturdays are typically tougher. You got a lot more boat traffic. You can't move around. There's local pressure. Those things make it a lot tougher to catch those fish. So Saturdays are always tougher in general. Um, but yeah, anyway. So that's the rundown. I am going to rig a couple rods up. We're gonna actually eat some dinner here just a minute. And uh, hey, ready to go back out there on the pond. Good morning. We just got up. Getting ready to head out. Head up to Dayton Boat Dock. Oh, hold up here. This is the deal. Day number two, Group B. Man, we um, we're gonna go out there and have a little bit of fun. The thing is, uh, the game plan today, I still, you know, you guys know me a little bit. I'm always thinking, I'm always sort of like scheming, thinking about ways um, to prep. So I'm just sort of probably gonna mix my rotation up, just try to change it up a little bit. Um, and ultimately, just try to add to it. And, and again, it's like, you know, just figuring out that rotation is going to be a big deal. But anyway, last night we just hung out, uh, watched the Clippers beat. I saw my, my boy PG um, play real well. Kawhi, all them guys over there on Clippers win. Game seven against the Mavericks. So we just hung out yesterday. And good luck to them the rest of the way. We got some work to do. We will see you guys here in a second. Let me grab a couple bananas, not for the boat. Head out of here. Okay, 12 o'clock. I'll drop you guys. Yeah, chopping down the pond, going 70 miles an hour. We'll just see how she does. First real. Goodbye. Go with dad. Of course, I'm going with dad, mom. Duh. 
That's where she's at, right? You going with me? Hey. Sit and drive? Yeah. Okay, what we got here? Which way should we go? Over there? We gotta go, Dada. Say go, Dada. I know, I gotta go. Duh. We got that. Where we got a fish? This is back of Dayton Creek. Ooh. That's nice, isn't it? Ooh. Yeah? Ooh. Hey, say, say, please subscribe. Please. Please subscribe. Say, please subscribe. Yeah, she yeah, just said it. You guys got it. If you can't say it, subscribe now, you guys. Literally, I, I just, I feel bad for y'all. Because it's like, listen, this one, shameless plug, Olivia. That's how it is. High five. Good job. <laughs> say hi. I got my lucky charm over here. You going fishing? You going fishing? <laughs> say hi, Dustin. Hi, Dustin. Hi, Dustin. Hi, hey, say hi, DC. Hi, DC. Hi, DC. <laughs> yeah, isn't that it? Hey, you see this horn? What's this? What's this? Oh, okay. You gotta, I, Daddy, gotta go go. Daddy, gotta go. Can you give me smoochie? Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye. We're going. Sorry, y'all. We're all going, right? No, you not. No, you gotta go. All right. I'm gonna go try to catch him. I'm not launching until later, so it's all good. And now, without further ado, as we pay honor to all our military members, not only here, but overseas. All right, darling. I'll see ya. Yeah. All right, y'all. We got to get out here and get after it's cloudy. Got a little bit of rain, chance of rain in the forecast. So we'll sort of see how this first period goes. I think the biggest thing is if I can get out on a quick start and Edwin doesn't like catch them quick, we're going to try to, we're going to try to catch him off the, off the giddy. I'm not going to run anything crazy, but run around and try to catch a couple of them. See, we're, if, if, we're, if we catch 30 pounds that first period on some stuff, we're coming. <laughs> All right, B. Be good. Thank you. Hey, Sizzle. Okay. I'll, um. Go on, I allow, so. All right, everybody, we're out here. Lake Chickamauga, one of my favorite places on the whole, in the whole world, really. It's my only problem. I don't like that. We're about to roll here in a second. You're just, just giving me a heads up. I just want to make a couple casts. All right, let's roll. It just, it's not happening. I don't want to. I got it. I knew better, but I was like, eh. I wanted to check some stuff. Just play around a little bit. Who y'all got in the boat? What's up, man? How are you? Nice to see you, man. I'm going to try to catch you one. What's your name? Brian. What? Brian. Brian. Nice. Garrett. Brian Garrett. Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you. Absolutely. Two ounces. Not the biggest one in the world, but it's a start for the morning. All right, y'all. We are just, we started shallower a little bit, just casting around, fishing some scattered stuff out here. We're going to start to reel a couple wings somewhere. I got a bite somewhere. Big too. I don't know, big, big, but I thought you were a lot bigger than that. Oh, my bad, buddy. Sorry, little bro. Two pounds, three ounces. We gotta get them bigger ones, but here we go. Let him go. Chill out here for a second. Let the rain rain on us a little bit. That's step our game, that's for sure. 
at least we made the cut. I'm sort of been messing around, looking around a little bit, taking my time. Bass are just, uh, I don't know about cloud cover. I mean, I just wanted to go check some, some places, just messing around a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and throw back out there and catch one if we can. Man, come on. Biggest one, too. Gosh dang. Ooh. If that was a bass, I'd be screaming. Dang. Two pounds, two ounces. <laughs> two, two. Dang, we're on that two, two bag. We gotta get off that day and thing. You got that one. There you go, that's a little better one. Three pounds, seven ounces. There you go, look at that. See that shad in his mouth? That's exactly what they're eating. They're beating these hole up here. I'm sorry, buddy. Actually, I sort of need to know anyway. Look at that. Gizzard. Sorry, bro. I know you worked hard for that. We need, we need, we need to match the hatch. That sucker right there is what they're eating. Right there. That's what you need to know. It's about the size. Uh, we need a bigger plug. Got him. <laughs> I, had to, I had to go ahead and get him in there. A solid fish too. Three pounds, zero ounces. Yes, sir. Three pounder. Just in the period. There we go. Done. Done, Zo. All right, let's go mess around with some other stuff. Got us a few bites, man, but I just feel like, you know, now we're getting to the point where we're a little bit too far out, so we're gonna have to probably just go practice a little bit more, try to prep for that, that knockout round. That's sort of what my plan is. Hey, Gary. Yeah, I wanna call it. How much time we got? Uh, 33 seconds. Oh, I gotta go. 33 seconds, bye. Bye. Let's go. Ready? Yep. Two pounds, 11 ounces. Yes, sir. 211. Yes, sir. Thanks, Keith. All right, we just had one just straight schooling, blowing up on like this little bar right here. And I'm casting back out, trying to catch some single fish. <clears throat> We're only, we said 23 pounds back? 23 pounds. Man, they it. Skinny. One pound, 14 ounces. I'm gonna try him. A little chunk here, but. One pound, 13. Gosh, man. All right, guys. <clears throat> Checking in, end of the second period. We caught a few bass, but your boy just hasn't caught enough. Whoa, sorry. Rocking the boat. So sorry, shaking back and forth. Have not caught enough to actually be attention to, to win. Shinichi Fukai, Edwin Evers are up there pretty high, around 100 pounds. Um, I, I really used today to try to eliminate some stuff. Uh, you know, just because I've got a lot of history in this place, I'll, I'll grab over a place and see some, and then you'll all you'll sometimes think, oh man, you know, last time you caught them there, they were five pounders. Well, that doesn't happen all the time. So um, they've not been big ones. I've caught a lot of little guys and just caught a few fish and. And, and found some places that I've never really caught any fish and I wanted to check and see 
what they were and a lot of the fish were non-scorable. You know, a lot of these 15, 15 and a half, 16 inch fish are skinny right now. They're post-spawn, they're non-scorable, they're not two pounders, they're pound and three quarters, they're keeper fish, but the keeper fish are not gonna do you anything on this pond. Um, so that's really what I was trying to just determine how, what the caliber of fish were in some of these places. And now I'm sort of back towards the lower third or lower half of the lake. I'm gonna run around and sort of see if we can maybe dial something in for this knockout round. I think that's the biggest thing, the smartest thing to do. Um, I wish I would have spent a little bit more time doing that today, but I had to do a couple little things and just sort of, I, I learned a few things and and, um, and that's part of it. So we're gonna see what happens in this third period. You never know, I might pull up to the community hole and catch 50 pounds. It's possible, it's very possible. Better, a little bit better. Two pounds, five ounces. Golly. No, let's try that. Let's try them. One pound, 13 ounces. <laughs> guys qualified for the knockout round it was a uh, it was a grind man it's not easy out there man a lot of pressure um, and these guys are really good at finding these fish I thought I might have a couple places that I could you know really depend on um, and man it's just these guys just electronics is getting better mapping is getting better it's gotten tougher and tougher to find a sneak hole so we're gonna go out there tomorrow and see if we can't, uh, we have a shot at making that top top eight. I have to be in the top eight to advance on to the championship round. But uh, hey, it was a good day out there on the pond. Caught me a few bass and we're gonna re-rig re 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 and uh, see if we can catch this.